This is Drew Webb introducing the video series Behind the Handlebars with Hupe and Abraham. Today we're at Chula Vista Resort in Wisconsin Dells, the ending location of the Hot Bikes 2014 tour with the four-part video series. Today we are talking with Zach Ness of Arlen Ness Enterprises. Uh, Zach comes from a family that is heavily into motorcycling. You might know his grandpa, Arlen Ness, maybe even his dad, Corey Ness. Yeah. So, uh, Zach, uh, this is the Hot Bikes Tour? Yeah, so this is the 2014 Geico Hot Bike Tour. Uh, they did a build off for Hot Bike Magazine with uh, a bunch of builders from around the nation and a bunch of nice guys. So this is, this is my build for the, uh, for the tour. It's 145 cubic inch, um, two up, two out, little chopper. I just want to have nice smooth lines. A lot of one-off machine parts from the front end to the rear end. Uh, but it's uh, you were telling me something about you know how what what a big motor you got in here, you know, and and really I mean you know it's, it doesn't have to push a great big huge frame. No, so. no, no. We wanted a nice compact, fun chassis, two up, two out, with the right amount of rake, not too much, and uh, rubber mounted motor with Dyna style shocks. So we want to make something with all that power, and if you can't handle it or you can't stop it, it's kind of pointless. So we got our uh, Ness inboard kits on there, which we machine for the motorcycle. So eight piston front and rear. So if you could have that much power, which it's obnoxious, 200, 200 horse on it, and first, second, third, fourth, you can be sideways if you want to. So want to make sure it can handle, want to make sure it can stop, and it's it's been a blast, no problems. I haven't broken down, so life is good. And... Uh, I've got a question, and it's just my own question, yeah. but you know, um, motorcycling needs people who are younger, who have a lot of enthusiasm, have a lot of vision for what motorcycles should look like and yeah. should ride like. So can you just tell me from your point of view you, what do you see people who are in their 20s, you know, like late teens and 20s, what do you see them wanting in a motorcycle? Um, well, I think one is, is especially with my generation, we're, re we're really used to stuff that works flat out, um, whether it's technology, whether it's uh, cars. I mean, a lot of you probably, a lot of guys my age, you probably haven't worked on a car to where back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, you know, you had to work on those cars that make them run all the time. So, um, one, is, it, one, it's got to work, it's got to handle, it's got to have performance. I think with, because my age, we're just starting to have some money to be able to buy these things. And so, it's it's making use with what you have, and then eventually having some vision. And so, with a lot of the bikes and a lot of our parts, especially when I make them one, they're, they're affordable, they're effective, and if you buy it, you know, if you spend X amount of dollars or something, you want it to work. Um, so it's, Zach, it's not the old thing. if somebody day. wants you to build a bike for them, how do they get in touch with you? Just Google uh, Yeah, or? give one a call to the shop. Uh, the best way is to contact the shop. To me personally, sometimes it's isn't tough, but I think uh, we're always on the road, so back and forth. But right. if, you, if you call the shop or email the shop, the it'll, it'll eventually get to me, 925-479-6350. Awesome. Well, Hupe and Abraham would like you to remember Remember to watch the motorcycles, and we're here at the Hot Bike Tour with Zach Ness. Thank you.